What's good, Yu Gi Oh! Duelist, JackX33 here, back with another video. Um, I'm gonna be continue on, continuing on. Uh, well, I'm just gonna do it like, this is like another event tips video. Uh, it's probably like the last one because it's just, well, like, um, there's not much to talk about really in the subject. Like, there is, but there isn't too much. Um, so yeah, anyway, I got like two points I wanna talk about in this video. It's, one is, um, Preparation, what you need to bring, stuff like that, um, accessories and, you know, stuff like that, necessities, and the other one is plan mentality, what you want to, you know, what your mindset is going to be, um, what you might, what you want, what do you want your mindset to be, uh, going to an event, and throughout the event, and stuff like that, uh, if my voice is a little weird, I'm a bit sick at the moment, so, it's possibly because of that. Otherwise, um, yeah, something I want to talk about before I start get into the topics uh, is nationals, Australian nationals slash WCQ is next next week, um, next yeah next weekend I guess long weekend. Uh, I'm leaving to go to Sydney on Thursday, so in about a week exactly. Um, and I'll probably be leading up to then I'll probably get some some dual videos in or something. Something like that with my friends. Uh maybe I'll do a dual video with myself in it. I don't know. Um But um yeah, probably gonna do some like vlogs at nuts or something like that. I'm gonna try to anyway. I might just like I might get there and then just like forget or just like might not be like probably can't uh, I don't know how to word this, but I, I might get there, and I might think to myself, I can't be fucked, um, doing the videos, um, but I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to remember, I'm gonna just kind of, like, try to, even if I can't be stuffed, I'll try to just do it anyway, um, so yeah, keep, keep your eye for those, and, uh, I'll probably do, like, a recap after the weekend, saying how I went, um, and showing the deck that I used, all that stuff, um, that you should be doing, so yeah, anyway, uh, first thing I want to talk about is the, uh, what you need to bring to an event. So, um, I know a lot of people do this, do these kinds of videos, and it's a very tedious topic, but it can get important if you don't know what to do, really. Like, most of you should know what to do, should know what to bring, in terms of, um, necessities like food and water, and stuff like that, and what to do the night before. Um, just some obvious tips. Uh, don't really, you better, you're probably better off not, um, drinking too much the night before an event. Uh, it's just, like, pretty obvious. I mean, I don't know why you would. Um, other than that, a lot of people say you should get a lot of sleep, like, eight hours of sleep, but I really just don't care. Um, I never really cared about having much sleep. I can do a lot without sleep, like, usually I get to, like, I get, like, like, six hours of sleep a day. On average, probably. Uh, I just don't care. Um, and when I'm playing Yu Gi Oh, I'm pretty awake. Very awake, actually. That like livens me up completely because I start using my brain and start thinking about everything. Um, so I'm just not like sleep doesn't lack of sleep doesn't affect me at all. It, it probably could affect a lot of people, but I know I also know a lot of people it doesn't affect at all as well. Um, and that's a, that's the situation for me in that respect, because I just don't really need it, and, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I guess if, if you feel like that affects you, you should definitely try to get a lot of sleep, but usually if you're, if before a big, a big event, like regionals or nationals, WCQ, whatever, uh, you're probably either going to be staying at your friend's house, or, like, in a hotel room with friends, so, it's going to be pretty hard to get a good night's sleep, because even if you try to do it, like, your friends will just be loud as fuck, um, you know, like, testing decks and just, like, joking around and shit, so it's just gonna be hard to get a good night's sleep, um, in that respect, so, I mean, yeah, you kind of just unlucky if that, if, if not have, if a lack of sleep affects you, but to me, it doesn't, so I wouldn't really advise people to do it, because I just don't care about it, but, um, you know, like, if you feel like you need it, then go ahead and do it, you can try and get a good night's sleep, anyway, uh, other than that, a lot of people also say you need to, like, eat, eat, help, like, eat a lot of food during the event, um, I don't like doing that, uh, it's just a general thing, because if I get really full, I get full pretty easily, really easily, 
Uh, it's kind of weird. I don't know why. I just do. Um, and when I'm doing something like, you know, say if I was, you know, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Or playing a sport or something like that, I would rather not be full while doing it. Obviously. It's just not, like, being full isn't fun. <laughs> uh, especially while you're, like, you know, being active and doing shit. So, I mean, I'd rather not eat during the event and risk myself getting full. I just have, like, a small breakfast beforehand or something like that. And then just go through the whole day without eating because I just don't doesn't matter, doesn't bother me at all, uh, if I get hungry, so be it, it's much worse getting dehydrated during an event, and that's another thing I want to talk about, water is very important, um, getting dehydrated is much worse than getting hungry, because you can't, you can't go without water for very long, but you can go without food for a while, um, so, like I said, water's, water's, it's like me personally, water is very important, food not so much, um, I feel like if I'm drinking a lot of water, my brain's flowing, uh, better, don't know why, it probably doesn't make sense, like, scientifically, but it just feels like that way, um, just helps me think better, kind of, if I'm drinking water, uh, not much else to say on that topic, I don't think, uh, oh, yeah, calculator versus paper and pen, you definitely want to bring a paper and pen over a calculator, like, even though calculator is much easier, and I, c I can fit my little calculator in my deck box, but, um, paper and pen is much more efficient, because if, it, if you have a life point to a dispute, the judge will rule with you if you have the paper and pen opposed to the calculator. Um, so if your opponent has paper and pen and you can see where life points change it from X to Y um, and you just have a calculator with like the, you know, just the life point um, totals, they'll side with them in the in the uh, off chance of a dispute. There's also the fact that like, um, because I don't know if this is the same with other people's calculator, but mine is just like a little small one, pretty shit. Um, and if you have... If the life, like if the totals on the calculator haven't changed for a while, uh, it'll just the numbers will just fade, so you can't see them anymore, and the the calculator will turn off, um, and that really sucks because if that happens and you forget what the life points were, um, either one of two things will happen. Uh, the first thing will be your opponent is not keeping track, um, or they've forgotten as well, whatever, and um, you know they you won't know the life points, so neither of you will know. And that's a bad situation to be in. Second thing is that your opponent has the life points kept. You know, you ask them. You have to ask them then, what is the life points? They could be a nice person. They could tell you the actual life points, which most people will probably do. Uh, realistically, I think most people would do that. But there's, off the, there's the off chance that they're an idiot. Or, I mean, not an idiot, but they're a bit of a cunt. And they will... Um, they'll lie about the life points totals. And you they'll get you to put down... Uh, the wrong life points totals in your calculator. So you they'll probably give themselves more life points and you left li less life points, something like that. Um, and that can be very, very relevant to the game. Uh, extremely relevant. Because they know what cards they have. They could be, like, working out a play in their head. Um, especially if they're playing, like, dragons. Because you can, you can, you can OTK a lot with that deck. But they could be working out a play where they can deal, like, 6,800 damage if you're on, like, 7, 7k. And, you know, if you forget your life points, they can just be like, yeah, you're on 6,800 life points, and they could just OTK you, like, that could be, ha that could happen, it's a very possible situation, um, anyway, that's enough about what you need to bring and stuff like that, and do in preparation, now I want to talk about play mentality, um, stuff like going to an event, what you want to think about, uh, I, I think it's better to go into an event, just to kind of try to have fun and win, don't just be like, um, you know, this is, it's a very, it's a very, like, touchy kind of subject, because you don't want to go into the event and just be like, uh, I'll just have fun. I don't care about playing the best deck, you know, I don't want to win. Like, I don't care about winning. That's not good to, to have. But you want to have, realistically, you like, you want to have fun, but you also want to win. And you want to be like, you know, um, if, you, if you're a person that thinks like, you know, you're better than most people and stuff, and, um, you know, you have to win every game, like, you should just win every game, like, you're entitled to, basically. Not entitled to, but... You know, it'd just be a, it'd be a shame if you lost a game, um, and stuff. That's kind of like you can think like that, but it's kind of bad-ish because it puts pressure on you, sort of, um, to win. And then when if you do lose, you kind of go you could go on tilt easily because then you're like, man, how do I lose to um, you know, such bad players? I I used to think like this uh, a little while ago, but then I realized it was just bad to think like this because. You know, while it does give you like heaps of he heaps of confidence, confidence is good, 
but I feel like it's an almost a bit of overconfidence, and you're kind of just, like I said, you're just, uh, you know, leaving yourself vulnerable to getting tilted uh, very easily, because you just don't think you should ever lose, so, you know, if you do lose, you got to be like, well, um, you know, you gotta, you got to think about why you lost, and maybe you just, like, get angry and stuff, and get annoyed, and that can, that can just, um, you know, fuck you up for the rest of the tournament, uh, so yeah, it's like that, um, I probably would just go in, like, you, normally I just, um, I think of myself before something, I'm just like, you know what, uh, if I do well, I do well, if not, um, that's fine then, I guess, uh, of course you'd rather do well, but it's not like you can, you know, think your way into getting into the top cut, especially in a format like the one we're in now, while, um, you know, I'm a person that says the format isn't too bad. I always kind of just like try to feel, find the silver lining in a format um, because I don't like being. I don't. Sometimes I'm like this a lot, but eventually I get a snap out of it, kind of. But I don't like being the person who just who hates the format and you know just kind of quits or like just doesn't play for that format, comes back to the next one. I don't like doing that. Um, so I just try to find, you know, I kind of try to work with whatever I whatever I have. Um, to make the format enjoy somewhat enjoyable, but in this one, you know, there are those times where you can just lose games because your opponent opened X card and stuff, and it's kind of bullshit, but, so it's just gonna happen, like, it's, that's it, it's gonna happen, so, you know, um, I don't think you want to be going into an event being like, yeah, I have to top, etc., when things like that can just happen, you know, your opponent can open this card, and you can just lose straight away, and then, you know, you just go and chill, and you could lose the rest of the match, like, you could, you could lose game one, because they opened X card, um, and then you could just lose, like, the next game, because you're just angry as fuck, uh, because of that, so that's a bad way to, to think, and, yeah, pretty sure that's what I'm going, that was all I'm gonna say, uh, for this video, but yeah, like I said at the start, um, just stay tuned for my videos about nationals and stuff, I'll try to get a few up, uh, if I can be fucked, but, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, subscribe, like the video, and see ya.